The 21st century has two valuable assets, our time and our planet. In order to be prepared for tomorrow's world, we must rethink the way we do things today. Many products are still used to provide services that new technology can provide in much better ways. Old habits result in unnecessary carbon dioxide emissions, wasted time and unnecessary costs for you, your company, society and the planet. Moving from a 20th century office towards a 21st century office will be an important step towards a low carbon economy. By using the rapid technological development, we can get the same or better service, but in a much more efficient way. In order to understand the difference between 20th and 21st century solutions, we need to take a step back. While reading a newspaper, a book, or a printed report, you might think you're not contributing to any carbon dioxide emissions or resource waste, but you are. You depend on the printing, the storage, the production, and the transportation of the paper, and also on an underlying 20th century infrastructure that's often forgotten roads, machines, and warehouses that must be produced and maintained in order for you to read in the traditional way. If you take a closer look at a business flight, you'll find a similar story. The emissions from the flight itself, which is what most people focus on, are only the tip of an iceberg. More emissions originate from the processes of building the plane and producing the fuel. On top of that, there's the underlying infrastructure with its airports, connecting roads and hotels. The plane you are flying is dependent on all this. The same is true for driving, where people mostly focus on the direct emissions from the driving itself. But just like the plane, the car must be built and maintained and the oil must be extracted and refined. Also, here there is a high carbon underlying infrastructure. Just think about the resources and amount of time you've wasted in a 20th century infrastructure. An hour a day makes five hours a week and 20 hours a month. In a year, that's 240 hours wasted with high resource consumption and money lost. That is time, resources, and money that could have been used for something else. The 21st century office is based on a global IT infrastructure. Whereas the 20th century office was based on physical products, offices, and the movement of people, the 21st century office is based on a low carbon infrastructure that allow ideas and data to move around the planet at the speed of light. It's important that this 21st century infrastructure is energy efficient, but even more important is to focus on the most efficient way to provide the services we need. By 2020, more than 20 billion connected devices will form a foundation for a society that can deliver transformative solutions in ways that are 100 or even 1,000 times more resource efficient than today's solutions. The opportunity to supply transformative solutions will enable companies to rethink their core business models, sustainable solutions for more than 9 billion people. A shift towards a 21st century office will also help a broader shift in society where buildings are net producers of electricity and where the economy focuses on the services we need rather than the old products that used to provide them. Moving towards a 21st century office way of working is one of the most important ways to help save a planet under pressure. It will allow money to be reinvested in new smart solutions and provide free time for innovation as well as more time to do exactly what we want. 
As long as you keep working in a 20th century office style, not only will you waste time, money, and resources, you will also support further investments in a high carbon society. On the other hand, Every step you take towards a 21st century office style will not only help reduce emissions, save time and money, it will also support investments in a low carbon society. With approximately 3 million tons of carbon dioxide emitted every hour, the 21st century office is a historic opportunity we cannot afford to ignore. What will you do next?